Hey, Dr. Gother. Yes. Dr. Gother. Yes, what's the problem? Hey, man. Hey, bro, man. Chill out, bro. Get the All right, man. welcome back to Dog Pound to the Night. I'm your host, Carl with the K, and tonight we're here with D Man. We're good, fam. We at the Dog Pound back at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you know, D-Man, I want to start off with a, you know, very unique question that I feel like, you know, goes overlooked and a lot of people in Seattle and go, don't get asked this a lot. And that's, um, what do you think the Seattle music scene needs? You know, what, what do we need to shine? What do the artists need? What does the town need? Like, what, what is, what are we lacking right now? Shit, to be honest, it's really just like... I'm- let me interrupt you real quick. I'm just fucking joking. We're not going to ask that stupid ass question. That stupid ass question has been asked a thousand times. It does nothing for the fucking city and literally nobody fucking cares. So can we skip that one? Yeah. All right, cool. She a light skin from Tacoma. How you know she from Tacoma? Because when she was sucking, I was smelling her aroma. The 2020 flow. Tell, yeah. tell me about that. Do bitches in Tacoma smell bad? Mm. It's like half and half, you feel me? Yeah. You got to pick that shit every now and then. You mm-hmm. know, you got to know how to pick them, you feel me? Yeah. Type shit, for sure. My, my sister's actually from Tacoma. She probably smell like shit, huh? Don't lie, bro. She smell like shit, my nigga. All right. So <laughs> Next question, nigga. Do you always fuck with smelly bitches or only when you're in Tacoma? <laughs> nigga, I don't fuck with smelly bitches at all. I just had that dog in me. But you, when she was sucking you off, did you keep going or did you stop? Yeah. You kept going? Yeah. Had to see it through, huh? I had to see it through, my nigga. You got to switch. Got to see it through. Got to see it through. It's just like, bro. It's like, it's, it's kind of like when you halfway into eating a burger. And you see a fucking, you, you see like you ate a little piece of that pickle. Mm-hmm. And you're like, damn, I already I ate that motherfucker. I ain't even feel it. I actually Dude. like pickles. I'm a burger. Oh, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> you're a sick ass motherfucker. Pickles on a burger with tomato too, huh? Yeah, you're a sick motherfucker. Yeah, you need help. Yeah, okay. Um. Anyways, you're... The next lyric after that was, uh, she had dark skin from Fred Away, and you know I made her pay. Um, when did you start getting into male prostitution? I ain't, I ain't no pimp, but look, a bitch want to give me some bucks. <coughs> ching, ching, ching. Hmm. Hand ching, it over, ching, baby. Ching. Hand it over. Uh huh. And do you always make them pay, or just sometimes? Hmm. I say like so you let the pretty girls hit for free, but the buckled ones they gotta pay a little bit. Nah, yeah, I not buckled, but maybe girls all you don't bitches. want to all bitches. All bitches, I don't give a fuck who you look like. All bitches gotta pay. Yeah. So how how, how much money? You gotta pay how for profitable some. Profitable is this? How much how much have you made off this side business of yours? At least ten bands in total. Ten bands in a year. Ten total. bands. Total. Now I see why the bitches in Aurora are doing that, walking the streets. They're fuck making good up. money. They're making good money. I fuck top tier bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know they're doing the same thing. They're just you know walking the street. What do you, what do you do? You walk the street, nigga. Or is it just like girls you kind of like know? Do you uh, do you walk the street with a sign? Nah. It say give me change. Mm. Nigga don't ask that shit. Don't ask me no stupid shit like that. Okay. All right. My bad. Getting right into it. Anyway, like how does it feel knowing Mike Jack's a better rapper than you are? How does it feel to know that the fucking Groovy Tapes is better than this shit? I mean, I wouldn't say it's better than my shit. My groovy name. Tapes is better than this shit, my nigga. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get on their shit, nigga. Fuck this shit. Alright, next question. Alright. Uh, you say the N-word a lot in your music, and I had a hard time finding lyrics that, you know, I could say, um, yeah. you know, unless you give me the pass. Fuck no. The fuck? No? Why would a nigga named Carl ever get the N-word pass, you sure? my nigga? Ever. Sure. I'm positive on everything I love. You would never get the N-pass, my nigga. I'll smack the shit out of you if I hear you say that shit. Nigga... Just saying that you got herpes, bro. What what was up? Well, why? You know, they had to have some type of motive. They can't fuck with a young nigga, man. I ain't gonna lie, I done did a lot of bitches slime. You feel me? Just thought they was fucking with a young nigga for real, but it was never like that, you know. Who's in Paris? 
Not you, not niggas. I mean, niggas, but not you. You got to say, in Paris. In Paris. There can, you I hit, can I even do that? <laughs> Can't do that. Wow, slap that fucking vape out your head. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hell no, nigga. You know, you know. You can't say none sure. of that. I just say. I was, I'm not, I'm not. Just, I just say you got to say, in Paris. Just in Paris. Yeah. And what is your message to those girls that said you had herpes and fuck you, you know, allegedly? Suck, fuck you, suck my dick, burn in hell, bitch. Fuck you, uh, suck your dick. So if they they do have herpes, so if they if they, if they sucked your dick, you would, actually you would don't have suck herpes. my dick. You fuck you. So you said fuck you, give me herpes. Is what fuck you're saying. all you motherfuckers. Um, all you motherfuckers burning hell. I'm about to be rich as fuck in a couple years, bitch. And you about to be looking at me like, damn, I should have never did that to D-Man. Blah, 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 bitch. Fuck well, you. Um, in your song, Politics, it says, uh, D-Man a bitch. He ain't ever outside. He be capping in every rap he a lie. Uh, tell me about that. And like, like was it, You're kind of commentating on what the haters say about yeah. you. Uh, do you ever think the haters might be right? No. Serious question. No. No? You ever think you ever think that if I slap you with my left hand, but I'm right handed, like nigga, but I still slap you, is that still smacking the shit out of you? Yeah. Exactly. So like every time you feel me, everything makes sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question with a question when you ask some damn shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um you once said my 380 still swimming in the lake, um, and I, when I first heard this, I, I was just curious, you know, just curious, like, oh, uh, what lake is your 380 swimming in? Lake, none of your fucking business. And I've, I've never heard of that lake. Where, where, where is it at? It's in. Damn, where is that shit? Now I think about it, I think it's in. Um, it's in Nanya. Is it Nanya? Yeah. Got that. You got that. Shut the fuck up, man. You don't do that shit, boy. Boy, shut your dumb ass up. Shut your dumb ass up. Them Wrangler jeans. You ain't got no wire in there. I'm just saying, bro. I would tell. I would, I would be like, yeah, fuck this dude, D, man. I'm out of here. I'm like, I'm free. I'm going to be walking these streets. <laughs> you think you're going to be free? <laughs> yeah. He thinks so. Tell her, I'm going to have a Reaper creeper up on you. You the Reaper creeper? Yeah. yeah. Tell me more about that. Tell me, yeah. tell me, tell me more about that. Who's that who's is. this Reaper Creeper you I'm talking about? Don't worry about it, boys. No, he gonna catch you. What's his uh, legal name? Any more uh, home address? Uh, yeah, it's one two five. Fuck yourself, Avenue Northeast. Never been there. Yeah, you should go there. Northeast. All right, then. He definitely should can you, go there. Can you send this photo? Can you get this to... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so, what is your, so what is your message to the D-Man haters out there saying, oh, you know, D-Man a lame, D-Man don't make good music, D-Man got herpes, you know, uh, he this, he that, but he hella cute for real. Nigga, who the fuck said that? Me. Bro, do you I want me that. to get up here and smack them fucking earrings out your head, my nigga? I, I said that. Exactly. Do you want me to get up and smack that tat and tattoos off your skin, my nigga? Don't ever say no shit like that, boy. Okay. So it's it's your second strike, nigga. All right, I won't say it again. The fuck is wrong with you? All right. Um. So, uh, what's your type? What what do you look for in a woman? Like, you know, for all the ladies watching, take your notes. Uh, what, what do you look for in a woman? Skinny bitches with a nice booty with some nice titties and a nice smile and good hair. Good hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's who you, you gotta love it, right? I fucking mama. love girls like that. You know. Um, have you you ever parked in a handicap spot? Yeah. You parked in a all handicap the time. Spot? All the time. Parking them bitches all the time. Are you handicapped? Nope. But do it look like I give a fuck? It, it, it doesn't appear to me that you give a fuck. <laughs> All man. right, then. I answer your um, question. I mean, should you give a fuck is the better question. You know, what are you gonna? What would you do if a sweet old 80-year-old granny was about to park? She's got hip surgery. She's, 
and she sees you, you just zoom in, and she's like, eh, excuse me, kind sir, can I please get that spot? What do you say to her? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to say? You should have been quicker, Granny. Damn. You okay, should have so been quicker, Granny. Demon is not for the elderly. Demon is not for the elderly. I don't, I don't know. You know what you look like, bro? Ooh. You look like Steph Curry, bro. And Steph Curry is sexy as hell, bro. Dog. What the fuck? What did I tell you about that shit, my nigga? I'm, I'm just saying. You know, nah, you nigga ain't no just saying. Last strike, nigga. Right, Two, three right. strikes, you're out. All right, all right. You do look like Steph Curry, though. Next question, nigga. All right. On your song, Stupid, you said, you taking bitches to get bubble tea. Boy, you gay. Um, I said that? Yeah, you said that. So, I, I've i taken girls on dates to bubble tea. What's wrong with that, bro? Am I gay? Nigga, that is not how you get twat. Taking bitches to get bubble tea is like taking bitches to fucking buy panties. Well, does that make me gay? Yes, bro. You're gay, bro. I'm sorry. Wait, when did you do that shit? Recently? Oh, yeah. You're hella gay. Uh, Mud and Bops, you fucked his baby mama and I didn't even close the door. Fucked his baby mama and you didn't even close the door. So you let the kid watch? You let him watch. Nah, I didn't. He didn't. He wasn't watching shit, but he had for sure heard something. But you let the door open. Yeah. So that kid want to go to the bathroom, kitchen, go get get some goldfish. He's seeing your fucking skinny ass clapping his mama's cheeks. He was on the game. He had the headset on. He had the headset on. <laughs> All that shit. So what? What? What would you do if he did come by? To, you know, grab some goldfish. What would you say to that young man? I say, son. Sometimes in life, when life gives you two big ass melons, you bust them. You bust them. That's what you were doing. You're busting his mama's melons, huh? Okay. okay. But you gotta lead by example. You gotta be an alpha male. Yeah, yeah. You said let him watch. Top G. Learn. Top G. Top G. Are you top G? I'm the top. Top is G of them all. Uh, oh yeah, you know you made a you know Mercedes Benz music, right? Yeah. You know it's one of your newer tapes, and I just have a question: um, Why did you name it Mercedes Benz music when you you know you still drive a Honda? <laughs> Boy, you got me fucked up. We got a Benz outside right now. Slime Clap. shit. <laughs> you should you should have called it Honda Toyota Honda music. Two thousand four Toyota Honda. We got music. showing the keys, huh, Slime? Yeah, nah, you got Honda. I saw your shit. <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill, Britney Spears, Shape, Buzz Cut, Britney Spears, Michelle Obama, and Oprah Runfree. First of all, I'm killing motherfucking um, what's the name? Britney fucking Spears. You're kill. You're killing Britney Spears. Okay, so killing who? the fuck out of Buzz Cut, Britney Spears, and then Michelle Obama, Oprah Winfrey. I'm I'm gonna fuck Michelle Obama, but I'm gonna marry Oprah. Okay. Because I'm going to be a rich ass nigga if I marry Oprah. See, me, I'm I'm killing Michelle Obama, fucking Britney Spears, and marrying Oprah. So you want to fuck Michelle Obama, my nigga? Them big ass chocolate titties, my nigga? Did you take, did you take shits at school or were you, did you hold it until you got home? Nigga... What the fuck? Cause I, was, I personally, I, I, I held it. I held it. Nah, you was definitely that nigga who was shitting in the fucking bathroom stalls in high school. You tell me you didn't. No. Not once. I did. I did. I did it a few times. I did it a few times. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold Nah, you. I feel like you did that. I feel like that shit was like a ritual for you. I feel like you shit it in a school bathroom every day. You just look like a, a school shitter. You know they got school shooters. Look like a school shitter. Right. You know, to... um, you know, Dubsy pronounced this guy the best, the most hottest upcoming rapper in Seattle. Who? Uh, Lil Cito. and like you know, rightfully so. That I think homie's you know hard, bro. You know, for Lil a little who? white boy, he's he's, he's spinning. Lil Cito. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Home Alone. Home Alone. 
You don't fuck Sid with Sid from Sid from Ice Age. You don't fuck with Sido. Nigga, that nigga, that nigga's teeth look like he chew on rocks. If Lil Cito was here, imagine I'm Lil Cito. Um, right. what, what would you say to him? I'm Lil Cito right here. Like, oh, D-Man, you a bitch, bro. You just be internet beefing. You just be internet. You just be. He'd go home in his underwear. You'd go home in his underwear. For sure. What you going to do? Rape him? Nah, nigga, I'm going to beat that oh, nigga up. Take, take all his clothes off, make him walk home oh, naked, nigga. Oh, okay. okay. Teach him a lesson, nigga. Feel me? If, if you see Cito, you're taking off his drawers. Is, is, nah, I ain't taking off. I'm just taking okay, off. That you're, nigga taking, shit. you're taking off his shirt. His I'm gonna beat jeans. it. I'm gonna slap that nigga. Take his shit off. Make him walk home like that nigga just got done skinny dipping. Do you listen to Macklemore? Nah, you don't listen. I fuck with him like as a, like as a person and shit. Like you feel me as a, as an artist and shit. I fuck with him. I just I just can never get into his music. You feel me? Yeah. He's cool though. What's okay. your favorite song by Macklemore? I mean, really, the only song I know by that nigga is like the Thrift Shop. Can you, and can you sing a little bit for us? Shit, with that shit, I'm gonna pop some tags. I only got a couple dollars in my pocket. I'm here looking for a come up. It's fucking awesome, nigga. Yeah. Okay, so you do be listening to that shit. <laughs> nah, I just that's really this, that shit. Oh. Is, everybody knew that shit. You feel me? Like everybody did. You know? Okay. okay. All right. Same All right. shit. Um, I want to try to understand, you know, why your music videos are so entertaining to watch. Like you go in on set, you know, when No So Cold or the Manzano Bros show up or Chris City or Tata or whoever you do your fucking videos with, you go, hey guys, I want to make the worst video possible. Is that kind of like what you do? Like, I, I I'm just trying to grasp the the reality of it and so like I'm why to, it's so horrible. I'm trying to grasp the reality. Of like when you come into these interviews, my nigga, like. Do you come in with the mindset of having the shittiest fucking questions to ask artists? <sighs> you, I saw, you, you know, I saw a, a sorority girl once post on her story. And it was her, her drunk friend falling. And she probably thought everybody cared, but no one does. You know, that kind of reminds me of your music videos. No one really nigga, cares. Nigga, I don't even need to smoke at night no more, my nigga. I just turn your shit on. And I go straight to sleep. This shit is boring, my nigga. This shit is ass. I'm sorry, my nigga. You know, this I'll, shit is like melatonin. My interviews are like melatonin. Yeah, drink some NyQuil or something. This shit is just like that. 10, 15 minutes, nigga, I'm gone. Sleep. Nigga. I swear to God, boy. Your interviews is like traffic, long, and I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, my nigga. I didn't know Carl Gallagher had a podcast. Where the fuck is where the fuck is Frank at? You know? Where the fuck is where the fuck is your sisters at? Fuck out of here, Carl. With a K. Like that shit's gonna make it any cooler. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. Carl. Next question, Carl. I'm about to start calling you Carl after every sentence now, Carl. In one of your hit songs, you say, bitch, when I spit it, it's outlandish. I can teach a German spreader how to bark in bro, Spanish. On, can you break down the, this nigga, bar? I mean, there's just so much meat behind shit. it. That's not me, bro. That's not your song? Like, goddamn, my nigga, no, that's not me. Oh, fuck. My bad, bro. This is the Make a Million interview. My bad. Let me get these papers right. Let me get this right. Sorry. This nigga is some That's bullshit, embarrassing. Bro. That's embarrassing. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? I'm, I apologize. I apologize. Nah, all right, all right. bro. You know I some apologize. bullshit, okay. my nigga. I, that, that was really fuck? embarrassing. I apologize. Sorry. Come on, nigga. Next question, my nigga. Um... Uh, here, sorry about that. Um, how do you think you changed or influenced the Seattle rap scene and culture? Being myself, you feel me? Being who I am, you know, I feel like I wouldn't really be this far or have a name if I wasn't staying true to myself and being genuine with people and my fans from the start, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, everybody who know me outside this music shit know I'm the same nigga inside this music shit, you feel me? Yeah. So I think that's, like... I think that's like one of the most. Uh, that's what makes me so unique. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, what the fuck was yeah, that, no one nigga? Cares. No then don't ask, cares. bitch. Huh? Then don't ask, bitch. 
Um, I've heard you reference your flow and and how you rap is shit talking. Is this because you talk a lot of shit in your music or your your music just absolute dog shit? You want to skip that one? Yeah, skip that dumbass shit. Okay. The fuck was uh, that? My bad. The extended magazine yeah. that rappers call a dick. A dick. A dick. Why is that, bro? That shit is so weird. That's so weird. I don't know. Why call a dick? Why call extended magazine guess, a dick? I guess it just throws, throws it off. You feel me? Like, throws the listener off. You know, you'd be like, what the fuck? What the fuck you just said? I always be hearing that shit, and I'm just like, why? Why, it's like so many dicks though It's so many dicks in a song It's like I got yeah. a fucking big ass dick in my cannon And I'll find you and you gonna fucking I'm gonna empty out this dick on your block yeah. And I'm gonna fuck It's gonna come all on your block This dick is gonna come on your block And you're just I'll, like I don't think they be on. saying all that But like they be saying some shit bro they be saying all that. I ain't never heard all that one But I heard the other one for sure they're Like yeah bro No I heard Juice World say It's like It's like This fucking block is a dick I Pull through your block and make you come. I was like, you make What song what? did he say that? I forget. Nigga, that's like some shit you said. I ain't gonna lie, that's like some gay ass shit. You probably said, my nigga. I ain't think just for saying no shit like that, cuz. Yeah, you might what be yeah, you might be right. You might be right. That nigga tweaking. So you and Maka, um how was you guys you guys be making songs together, right? Shit, yeah, we've been making slash for a minute mm-hmm. now. Shit, so, damn near two years. This year, be you, you gonna you gonna keep holding and make it back? <sighs> you hold him back, bro. You be holding him back on those tracks, bro. How sway? Cause, bro, he he be spazzed, right? I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I be doing the stank face in the, right. my whip, right? Right. right. Oh, I yeah. hear make it, I'm like, ooh, yeah. shit, oh, this God, shit filthy. Spazzy. And then I hear D man's like, hey. It's like, bitch, I found a lot of the one of one. I want a dose, not a trace, but I'm fucking. And I'm just like, God damn it. What the fuck? You know why? You know? I'm like, damn it, D Man. You know, I, so I gotta skip that shit, go back to make it. So it's on every track. Why aren't you gonna let them go, bro? You gotta let them go. It's like a toxic relationship, bro. You gotta it's, let the other one, you wanna see the other one succeed. So you just gotta let them go. It's probably because you can't relate. It's lying. I can't relate. So I understand that, like, nigga, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You are you're a shitty ass interviewer, my nigga. Like for real, like this probably gotta be one of the worst interviews I've been to ever, my nigga. I done been to a lot of interviews while I started doing this music shit. Like you don't know, you know, do you know what you're doing? Like honestly, my nigga, this shit is fucking bonkers. I ain't never been in no shit like this in my life. This shit is. Ass, my nigga. I hope this is live too. This shit's ass. Can't lie to you, my nigga. I hope you put this shit in there. I don't think you mean that. I swear to God. You don't mean that. I swear to God. Nigga, this shit's ass, my nigga. You're, you look like, nigga, you got fucking S's. Whatever the fuck Nikes those are. Them dirty ass motherfucking Nikes with them baggy ass Wrangler, Wrangler jeans. Nigga. With that weak ass lumberjack jacket, with that fucking Carhartt, old ass Carhartt sweater with no string on it, nigga, fuck out of here, nigga, looking like the Miz, nigga, with that janky ass buzz cut, nigga, GTA looking ass, nigga, fuck out of here, nigga, ugly, but <sighs> Lizzo, smash your pass, pass, nigga. What's, the, what's the freakiest thing you've done in bed? Damn, shit! I probably say I had nutted in a bitch in a bitch nose. She was like in the bathroom, like she pretty congested after that. Going like that for like thirty minutes, trying to like get all the come out her nose and shit. Cause I swear to God, I like literally like you put the dick nose. hole like on her nose and yeah. it just shot into her nose. Yeah, some real kinky shit. That's dirty. You're a dirty boy. You're a dirty boy, D man. Ghetto boy, dirty boy. <laughs> so, do you plan on being a local rapper forever, or, or do you ever like you plan on being plan a on bitch being forever? Relevant in the music scene. You plan on being a bitch forever? Huh? 
You plan on staying in your bitch shell forever? Are you not going to break that ever? Okay, then, nigga. Next question. Stop being a bitch. Next question, Carl. It's damn near my interview now. My next question. Um, What do you think my Korean grandma would think of your music? Who? My Korean grandma. What do you think she would think of your music? I ain't gonna lie. Um, she'd probably be very astonished. Astonished? Of the vocabulary. You think she would like it or not? She's very Korean, like traditional. Oh, really? Doesn't know English really well. I feel like she like I think I get along with Asian people well. Do you think she would like your music, though? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's dead, so. Oh, she's dead? Yeah. She can still hear it, nigga. Go to Grammy, play that shit. RP, let's take an awkward silence. Let's take a silence. <laughs> All right, so we will wrap it up. Um, for the final question, I want to just say how much. A little out of pocket, but how much? Was, how much would I have to pay you to suck my dick? Nigga, that is, what did I tell you? This is the last strike, my nigga. Bro, whoa, 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 bro. No, it's a joke, bro. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke.